Alright guys, this is, this is for anyone who might be running tracks at some point in my absence. So, um, it's pretty simple. This is the playback app. You've got the songs across the top um, that we're playing or click tracks. So, pre-service instrumental, it's just you click on it and you either hit um, play or hit the space bar on the computer or on the foot switch. You can hit play there too. Um, so yeah, it'll one two three. I've got it set so that when it plays it triggers the pad right here automatically four and um, When you're done, it'll fade it out, but this track goes for three minutes or right right about around three minutes um, so You want to start at about 303 I think um, 303 on the countdown and it'll count you into three minutes essentially um at the end of the click track, it's going to it kills the pad, it faded out there, and then it triggers the next song or it cues up the next song. That's what this little arrow here is. It shows it's going here, um, so it's set to play. So after announcements and welcome, when you're ready, you can cue the next song. Uh, it shows the same thing here. It's going to trigger the next song, or I'm sorry, it's going to cue it up to be ready to play. And it's also going to continue the pad right here. So it'll keep the pad going. It'll transition into the next key. This is in C. This will transition into A. So I'll let you hear that. Play. One, two. So, sorry, that's the beginning at the end of the song. Oh, and when you're wanting to play parts, you can double click a part of the song. And hit play and it'll count you into that section so here's the ending i'll hit space bar ending two three four all right and it's going to cue up the next song and transition the pad key so we saw it it shifted over to this song and now it's playing in the key of a you don't need to know this but there's a there's layers here so there's a um, pad player and this is where the pads are being triggered from. It's just happening automatically in the background. You can always kill it or start it from here also. Um, so this will be during like a call to worship section, for example. And then when you're ready again, you'll start the next song. It'll cue off crowns down. One, two, intro, two, three, four. So that song goes. Um, at the end of this one, it's gonna, this is a little crossfade um, action. So it crossfades and then it'll just transition straight into the next song automatically with no stops. So I'll let you kind of see that. Here's the ending. Ending, two, three, four. One, two, three, intro, two, three, you see it just, it just switched songs there automatically and, and triggered it to start. So um, at the end of this song, there's a little icon here that says it's going to stop and not transition to the next song. Um, it says stay in song and continue the pad so that um, the end of the song you can kind of feel free to pray or do whatever you want to do and stay in that key. So here's the ending. Ending, two, three. The song's over, this kind of first set is over, the pad keeps going. At that point, when, you know, let's say we dismiss the kids and all that stuff, somebody's gotta manually kill this pad um, and it will fade out. All right, so then after the sermon, we come back up, we've gotta cue the next song um, and it's the same kind of process. And this week we're doing communion in between, so I'm gonna uh, stop this song um, it's going to stay in the song at the end and keep the pad going. Um, that way, uh, at the end of communion, they're free to keep playing um, and kind of do whatever they need to do right there. So uh, again, I'll show that. So song gets over. Uh, this is a long ending. Section. Ending two, three, four, five, six. So anyway, it's going to play all the way out and then it'll stop. It'll stay in the song. It actually cues it back to the front but it'll stay there until you're ready for the next song um, pad will keep going if you 
one. Oops. If you double two. click something, it will go ahead and keep like start that song. So let me go back here real quick. Uh, we're at the we're at the end of this song. Let's say chorus two. So end of the so song was over. We're ready for the next song. If you click on it, did it transition the pad? It did not. You got to play it for it to actually transition the the pad. So you can either double click or click and hit play. Hit play from the foot switch. One. Any of those options. Two. So we just heard the pad transition there. So that, that'll play all the way out. And again, at the end of the song, I'm having it just stop and keep the pad going. Um, so that's kind of how that works. A couple other things that might be helpful if I'm like gone for the whole weekend, gone for rehearsal too. Um, here's your faders. So um, I can set this all up remotely, but I'm not there to hear it in the mix. So if the sound guy needs more or less of something, you can obviously mute and unmute things. Um, and then you've got fader control here. Um, and then you've got a master fader per song. So this is the master fader for this song. Go to the next song, it's got a master fader too. Right now I've, all, I've got them all set a little lower than to, just to give me headroom if I need it. But um, in general, they're pretty close to each other. So um, other than that, you don't need to must mess with these buses. These are just like the subgroups out. You've got the pad player, which works in the background. It's tied to the song. So, you know, as long as you're on the right song, it's going to trigger the right key for the pad, whether, and you can turn it on and off right here. But again, most of that, of that's automated. You just have to turn it off at the end of each set. Um, the only other thing is, um, you know, you can, during rehearsal, you can click on any section of the song and cue it from there, it'll count you in. Um, and you probably don't, won't ever need this, but there's a loops, a section too right here. So if you're playing and you wanted to loop a chorus or maybe like an instrumental, I don't know where's an instrumental at. Yeah, say so you wanted to loop the intro, you, you just intro have two, to hit this. Three. This is a loop one time. This is an infinite loop. So you'll see right here, it's Intro, gonna cue two, it back to the three. front of this. And it keeps looping that section. Um, and you can control that from the foot pad as well. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know if you guys will want the foot pad or not, but you've got song, uh, the songs. So this will shift you from song to song. Um, this will select it. Like if, if, the, if the song's already if the click is already going, this and this sh like selects it and plays it. But typically, you're hitting the play button here. So let's say we wanted to start "Great Is Thy Faithfulness." One, two, That's how we do it. three. Let's play stop. Um, let's say you, rehearsal. You're in the middle of a song, and you're like, "Let's start that over." And from the foot switch, you're just hitting start. This takes you back to the start, and you'll play it again. One, two, three. If you want to kill the pad. Man, I'm not focused, am I? Here we go, sorry. That'll kill the pad or start the pad. Um, and then loop of sections right here. So for playing this instrumental. Intro, intro. Two, three. If we wanna loop it, we see that activated the loop trigger right there. Intro, two, three. And then this will turn it off again. So anyway, that's the idea. And this controller's got multiple banks for me. I don't. That's what all the other like. I've got an, the ch ability to trigger pads like from here too if I wanted to. But that's probably more than you guys would want to mess with. Um, so anyway, I just leave it on this bank, and you've got. Song con song selection, play, stop, start over, loop. Oh, and this other one. Chorus. Uh, let's two, say the band three. gets off. That is not working. That's supposed to solo the click. So let's fig I'll figure that out. But this will solo the click so that 
everything else dies off so that um, you just still have a metronome. But if you get off, you gotta just go with it, I guess. Um, anyway, that's it. Cool.